Hey guys, welcome back. Got another good tutorial for you today. This one is how to automate like Flume, my boy Harley, my Australian brother from another mother. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example here and then I'll show you how you can do this in your own tracks. Okay, yeah, so as you can hear this synth in here is wa 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 Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can do that. Alright, so let's click on this uh, MIDI clip here. I want to loop that section. Now I want to zoom in on that, so I want to click this to highlight it and then double click above it. Now that zooms into that section. Now click back on our MIDI clip. Now let's open up Serum or whatever synthesizer you want to use. It's the same principle. Now you can see in here that I've actually got my LFO rate modulating my filter cutoff and you can see it here now the only thing that I've automated is my LFO rate so it speeds up or slows down when I want it to so let's come out into our uh, mid wobble here click A to open your automation lanes now if we come into uh, we've got auto filter let's click this down arrow show automated parameters only LFO rate, there we go, okay, maximize that, make it a little bit bigger, get rid of this master track. Okay, I'm going to delete this automation, and this is what it sounds like without the LFO rate change. Okay, it's just the same, the whole way across, the same module, the same or, uh, LFO rate. So I wanted to go, wop, 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 wop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if you if your uh, LFO rate isn't over here, all you have to do is click on LFO rate, and then it will show up in here. Easy as that. So let's speed it up here. To speed it up, I just highlight the section I want it to move. Hold Shift, and then lift up like this. Yep, that sounds good. All right, now to copy this, Control C. I'm just going to paste that there because I want the exact same modulation speed. And I think. Uh, so I want to go fast here again. Control V to paste. And here I want to go slower. So let's let's just try maybe this. I'm guessing. The, the bad thing about this is you can't actually see the LFO rate show up in here. It just shows you this number which doesn't correspond to it. So you, you have to use your ears to find the right LFO rate. Sweet, okay. Now I like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this whole half over to the next half and I'm just going to change a few things over here. Okay, that's not good at the end there, so I'm going to lift this back up to normal. And I might speed this bit up a bit. Yeah, let's try that. Probably a bit quick. No, let's go back up to there. Alright, let's try that. Okay, I like that. So I've automated this um, mid wobble track here, but now what I want to do, I want to uh, put this exact same automation onto my other tracks. So as you can hear up here, I've, this is what I prepared earlier. You can hear that's got automation on it already. So I'm going to open up this um, track here. I'm going to get my automation lane. I'm just going to delete that automation that's on there already. 
delete. And now all you have to do is come back down to the track that's been automated, highlight it all, control C to copy, come up to the other track, control V to paste it. As long as you have the, the LFO rate and the LFO rate, you know you're modulating the same thing. So now if we play this together, they are modulating at exactly the same time. So that is what I want. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. Let's solo this um, mid wobble here. Now I'll minimize that sub uh, wobble. So now what I want to do, I want to show you another way that you can automate. So let's jump into uh, Serum here. Let's um, get rid of this automation on this cutoff. Let's remove all modulators. Sorry, am I? I'm in the wrong thing. So let's come into Serum here. Let's remove this modulation. So let's remove LFO1 modulator. Now you can see it's just pretty much a straight synth. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to automate Serum's cutoff manually. So I'm going to click this cutoff here. I'm going to come into show all parameters first. Now I'm going to click this cutoff and you can see filter cutoff show in here. Let's close Serum, maximize this filter cutoff lane and now we can start automating the filter cutoff. So clicking up above this um, track up here, zooms in. Now, what, 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 Let's bring this up here. If you hold Alt on the line and then click and drag, you can get this curve like this. Now, as you can see, that curve there, if I zoom in a bit more, curved, curved down, is exactly the same as this curve. I want to replicate that. So let's listen to this. Now it's a little bit high. So let's bring that down. Still not quite right. That one sounds a bit better. All right, so let's duplicate this with Control D. That sounds better. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy. Whoops. I'm going to copy this here, Control C. I'm going to paste it. I think it was paste one there. I'm just going to paste it everywhere for now. Just in this first half of the uh, track here. Control V. And then I'll just click this one and I'll just go Control D now. Now I want to speed these ones here up. So let's drag this one across here. Drag this one. Oops. Drag this one here. Alt it. Alt it. Control D, D, D. There we go. And now I want to copy this one. Maybe put it here. Okay, so now I don't want all of these in here, so let's just delete all of these ones. Now this one here, I want it to slow right down, so maybe if we come up like this, put this on there like that. You know, maybe I'll put a slow... That's a bit smoother. And then you can pretty much just copy this, Control D to duplicate it, and you've got that same automation. Now that was pretty easy. It takes a bit longer than, than automating the LFO rate, but you have so much more control over it. So if you, um, I've actually seen an interview where Flume said he automates this way. And I think the reason he does it is because you have so much more control. You can drag this up, make these ones smaller, add like some kind of randomness to it. So it's like... It just like adds this human element, this human feel to it. So I like doing it this way for that reason as well. Okay, now I want to show you guys a little tip. And this tip came from me just making mistakes and really... Uh, just making mistakes that were a pain in the ass. Now, as you can see, if I get rid of this automation, you can see over here, 
this red dot means that I have automated my uh, track volume. Now that's a bad idea. Now that's a bad idea because if I want to um, change the volume of my track, I move it. Now my automation is deactivated. And you can see that by its how it's gray here. Now in order to reactivate that, all you have to do is click this button, but that means the volume goes back to where it was. If I click it, the volume goes back to where it was because that's where the automation line says it is. So in order to fix this, what I want to do is I want to uh, drag a utility onto this track. I want to click the gain and as you can see I have gain here. Auto gain. Now I want to click this one here, get track volume, get that there. So you now have the track volume and the gain. So all I do now is I just make these a bit bigger first because I can't see shit. Now I want to copy everything from the track volume gain. Control C to copy. Come down to the new gain knob that I've got there. Control V to paste that. Right click on this um, automation here. Delete automation. Gone. So now I have this exact same automation just controlling my utility gain. Now I can lift this up for mixing. And that automation stays exactly the same and never deactivates. So there's a few ways to, uh, to be able to automate your tracks like Flume. Um, there's a, a little tip there just to save you some time later on in the mixing process. So um, I'm giving away these project files. If you guys want them, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, comment down below saying that you want them, and I will give them to you uh, personally. All right, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.